Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's topic. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I hope everyone's day is going fantastic. And has had a positive week so far. I know many of you are still in the middle of dealing with a narcissist. Or you just got away from one. Or you just got away from one. But have to go to work every day and you have a boss that you believe is a narcissist. Everyone has different situations. But at the same time they are the same theme as many here on this channel. And many people that are across the world. And I want to let you know. Your sharing here helps. It not only helps you. To have a chance to think about things rationally and even calmly. So you can make sound and better choices for you and your life. But this sharing helps others that think and feel that they are alone. I know before I found all of this information. I thought I was the only one that went through this mess. But come to find out. It's a bad little secret of our society and there are millions of us that have suffered in silence. So keep sharing here. The word is getting out. And others are finding help as a result. So that's a good thing. Which brings me to the point of this video. I want to talk about a red flag of a narcissist and how they basically train or prime you into confessing all of your details. On the way they train you is the red flag I will be talking about here today. So it's all in one. Now what I want you to do is put your thinking caps on for a moment. You see. I was originally going to title this video something else. But I thought it would get people to think one dimensionally if I did. And the titles fit the video just fine. However. It would make some just jump to their first thought. Which would be a right thought. But might not allow them to see the layer below. You see. Narcissists when you first meet them in cases like a dating relationship. Or even a friendship. They might spend a lot of time talking with you. Possibly texting until the early hours of the morning. Or spending the same amount of time on the phone with you. Now from time to time. We might spend a long time on the phone with someone we are close to. There's nothing wrong with that. But this is a little different. You get this feeling that you are attached to this person. And maybe you might to be polite and truthful at the same time say. Hey. I won't be responding for a while. As I'm studying for an important exam at school. And here comes the red flag. Later on. They might ask you. In a questioning way. What was the reason again why you were unable to respond that last time? And this is the layer. Because of the way they are asking this question. The tone of their voice or text. And how they are positioning it. And possibly our own bad home training to be people pleaser. We feel and know we told this person clearly what the reason was for. That we were studying for an examination. But this time when we answer the question again. We must provide more detail to our answer. Such as. Remember. I told you. That I was studying for an examination for school. It was a chemistry class that I have four days a week at eight in the morning. At such and such school. And every narcissist that I've dealt with has used this tactic to get me to give up information. And to attempt to train me into willfully giving up all details about whatever I'm doing before they even ask the questions about what I'm doing. And it's usually a re-asking of a question we clearly answered a day or two ago. Or possibly an hour ago. And they will ask the question in such a way that they don't believe us. Without accusing us. So we feel the need to somehow set the record straight. When in reality that isn't needed at all. And before you know it. We are divulging everything and every detail about a particular situation. And once we do that they believe they have us. 
here's what you can try with such a person. If you aren't sure if they are having a memory lapse, or they are really running a game of narcissism, just simply answer the question. When we were texting that time, I gave you the answer. Did you want to take a moment to look and see if you can find that conversation? Or, when we were talking on the phone the other day, I gave you a pretty clear answer. Do you not remember our conversation? And at most, you might say one of the two examples to this person. And then add. So you have the answer again. I was studying for a test. And that's it. If they start questioning you and that answer. Like. Well where was the test? What day is your test? What subject was it for? You can just reply back. I'm kind of over this conversation at the moment. Maybe if I'm feeling better I will tell you someday. And exit. Keep in mind. Usually this is happening and can happen in the first handful of conversations with someone. And if this is happening. You can take this as a sign it's not going to get any better. It's only going to get worse. And say whatever you have to say and then stop talking to this person. Remember this is a red flag. And it's important especially in the beginning of getting to know someone. To pay attention to red flags. If you see a red flag waving at you. Get out of there. And don't be ashamed to do so. And you can even ask yourself. Would I talk to someone that way? Usually when I'm getting to know someone. My memory isn't perfect. But I try to remember the basics of the conversation I had with them. And them telling me. Something about studying for a test is something I probably wouldn't forget. Now. Instead of asking. So why again were you unable to reply that time? Us normal people might say. That test you were studying for. How did you do? Why? Because we actually care. But you see the narcissist. They ask their questions out of control. And their layer to this is. They want you to subconsciously feel they are in control of your life. And they will ask questions to things that have been already answered to make you feel like you owe them more information than previously given. And to gaslight you into thinking you didn't provide the answer to them possibly. Yes. They may later concede that you provided the answer and pretend like they forgot. At least in these first few conversations. But if you aren't willing to bring up the fact you just gave them the answer to this question. It's a way of gaslighting yourself. By going on with this narcissist's ugly and dysfunctional game. What's interesting is this just happened to me. A what appeared to be a nice woman that wanted to get to know me. And she was texting me non-stop. To the point the red flag had already gone up. I was already thinking. I don't think I want anything to do with this person. Then she questioned me about something I said about me being busy a certain day. But she asked it like as if it was a new topic of conversation and she really wasn't sure for my reason for being busy. When all she had to do was go back to her text message and see. I told her a short but nice answer that I was going to be busy at this time because of this reason. When I politely called her out on this. She started to spiral and to get a bit upset with me. And then stated she has a hard time trusting new people because of what they have done to her in the past. Keep in mind. I just met this woman. That's when without explanation. I just hit the block button. No further discussion. No further debate. I had seen enough red flags to know. This wasn't going anywhere good. All in a short amount of time. But I sat back and thought about my mother and Susie. And narcissist bosses. And they would all use this tactic. Of asking the same questions that were clearly answered previously. Hoping it would trigger something in you that might make you feel like you owe them more information. And if you comply and provide all of these details. You are in effect getting trained to give all details about yourself without even being asked. And with that in mind. I thought about Susie. I remembered conversations being so detailed where I would literally say. At 8 in the morning. 
I went to my car. I opened my car door. I put the key in the ignition and then I turned the key. And that's the goal of the narcissist to get you to that point. Where you start sounding crazy when you explain things. But they have so much control over you. You will divulge all the details about literally everything you are doing and have done. Meanwhile they are one big walking lie. They omit the truth all the time. They willfully lie to you all the time. Yet. They are expecting you to provide detail after detail. And they all get this started through trickery. But you just have to open your eyes to see it. Now. Again. It might be a situation where it's your boss at work. Where you might not be able to block them and then move forward with your life. However. You don't have to fall into the trap of giving them more details than what you previously gave them. Such as. Oh. When you asked me that same question last week. I let you know. That I was in a meeting that day. Or whatever. Or on my way to work. I had a flat tire. I told you last week. Do you remember asking me? No worries. I understand you forgetting. No worries. Now. Can it be someone that has having a legit memory problem? Yes. However. If that is the case. Just restate your answer without going overboard and providing more details than you have to. And if it's a narcissist. And they aren't able to get you to play their game. Watch them drop you like a hot rock. If it's a dating situation. They might claim you're boring and no longer want to see you. Or they met someone else. And the reason is you're not feeding them the supply and control they crave. And in my situation. I didn't know this person very well at all. I just blocked them. I happily blocked them and moved on with my life. Because in reality if we can use red flags to do just that. Then the red flag has served its purpose. It warned me there was a problem. And I took positive action to remove myself from the situation. But with that being said. Have any one of you seen or experienced what I'm talking about here? I would like to know your take on it. It's really weird how these individuals do this tactic. But it also shows their skill level. And it's the skill level that allows them to be successful and manipulating others. With that said. Please tell me what you think in the comment box. Also. Don't forget to like comment share and subscribe. And if you would like to support even further you can do so by the way of Patreon. And if you are already supporting on Patreon. I humbly say thank you. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.